The project um, was started in 1990 in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. It was inspired by the AIDS quilt. Um, this is Brockport's 15th annual year of hosting our own like clothesline project. It's actually international. There are clothesline projects all over the world. And they estimate, um, they estimated like a couple years ago that there were over like 60,000 shirts. They're all sorted according to year that they were made. Um, there's a bunch of bins actually. There's so many that we couldn't even put them all up. And these are all made by Brockport students, staff, faculty members that have, um, you know, either been abused themselves, um, domestic violence, or have been affected by it, or know somebody who was killed. White is for women who have died due to the violence. Yellow is for women who have been battered or assaulted. Uh, red, pink, orange for women who have been sexually assaulted or raped. Uh, blue and green is for women survivors of incest. Purple is for women attacked because of their sexual orientation. The black one is traditionally represented on the international level as um, violence for political reasons. Like They're all violence against women, but it's violence for political reasons and we decided to change it to emotional abuse because we thought college students at Brockport didn't really identify with violence for political reasons. We thought emotional abuse and like stalking and things of that nature would be more applicable. The gong is for women who have just been abused. The whistle is for a woman who has just been raped. And the ringing bell is a woman who has just been murdered. The Clothesline Project's importance is basically to spread awareness to the public because a lot of these issues especially like sexual um, violence issues are swept under the rug in society. I just want this event to keep going every year and people to keep supporting it.